Hey, this is Doug210, and I hope this video helps you if you're looking to build a do-it-yourself grid tie solar power system um, at your house. So here's my situation. I bought this really cool Nissan Leaf 2013 and the GE 220 volt, uh, volt charging station. Buying the car really was, wasn't so much about saving the planet as it was about just really being pissed off at OPEC and being depressed about how much I was spending on gas. So getting my plug-in car raised my um, electric bill about $40 a month, which wasn't bad. So I began to think about creating my own energy. Um, I thought about wind turbines, but I don't have a good steady stream of wind here. And because I live in Southern California, solar seemed to be the ticket. There's really two different kinds of solar power systems, standalone and grid tie. Standalone means you're going to capture the electricity in a battery bank. And you can use that power anytime you want, day or night, or even during a blackout. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, then after I analyzed it, I need about 15 or 16 batteries just to get about 40% of my car charge time. It didn't seem worth it. So I decided to go with the grid tie system, which is really a better solution for me. And it really only has two basic components to it. It has the solar panels and the grid tie inverter. Here's the basic principles. Okay, but first here's my disclaimer. I am not an electrician. Really, everything I've learned came from books and other videos and people willing to help me. So do your research, hire an electrician if you feel unsure about it. With that said, here we go. The panels capture the sun and the grid tie inverter changes the current from DC to AC, which makes it compatible with your house electrical current. This current in your house and neighborhood is called the grid. And what the grid tie does is it sends power back through your house using your house's existing wiring. This slows the consumption, in some cases will send power back through the lines to your neighbors. So in essence, you're creating electricity for your neighborhood through the grid. By using your grid tie system, you should be able to slow down your meter or even get it to spin backwards. So the Nissan LEAF has a 24 kilowatt hour lithium battery. So when I designed my system, I wanted to be, begin by adding around 33% of the overall usage of that to the grid. I need to produce about 8,000 watts a day. So here's what I've done. I have a four Astro Energy 250 watt polycrystalline solar panels. I felt I got a really good deal, 240 per panel at wholesalesolar.com. Um, I wired my panels in parallel and my four panels should produce about a thousand watts of power per hour on a sunny day. It's roughly about 40% of the power I need for my leaf. And here's my system. This is the shutoff switch, which is rated at 50 amps. And the total system is running at about 35 amps right now. The DC from the um, panels can be shut off here. And I used 8 gauge wire throughout. 8 gauge is rated to 40 amps. This is the main box which holds the 1000 watt grid tie inverter. Um, and it also holds the return back to the house grid. I pigtailed it from the outlet in the kitchen. It's a tight fit but I think it's going to be okay. I bought the inverter at Amazon for around 260 bucks. The whole system cost me $1,800. It took me about three days to install. I guess I'm going to like the idea of powering my car on clean solar electricity. I hope this video helps you out. See you later. Bye-bye.